Sales and manufacturing of electric vehicles are continuing to grow at a rapid pace around the world, with double-digit annual growth expected over the next decade. Vehicle manufacturers, automotive suppliers, and governments are increasing their investments in regional supply chains and gigafactory networks for lithium-ion batteries in order to keep the expansion and development of EVs on track and moving forward. Increasing the range of electric vehicles and lowering the cost of plug-in, rechargeable powertrains as compared to gasoline-powered vehicles are both critical goals. Lithium-ion battery technology is considered to be one of, if not, the most important components in reaching these goals. This video will discuss the speculations that BYD would supply its Blade batteries to Tesla, as well as the denial by BYD of the rumors. It'll also cover the extension of Tesla's contract with its current battery supplier, so stay tuned for that. Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder that subscribing's free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar content. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. Rumors Tesla using BYD Speculation in the auto industry has centered on reports that electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla will use a new breed of Blade battery in its rumored Model 2, a compact and inexpensive electric vehicle that will supposedly cost less than $25,000 and have a range of approximately 250 miles. BYD was expected to begin providing batteries to Tesla in 2022, according to a report published by a Chinese news outlet quoting several unnamed sources. This rumor was believed to be true because the Californian manufacturer was thought to be preparing to manufacture a new electric car model in China, and it was especially believed to be true because neither company had responded to the rumor publicly. According to rumors spread in mid-2021 by a number of people with knowledge of the situation, BYD will supply Tesla with Blade batteries in the second quarter of 2022. Additional sources claim that the C-sample testing phase for the Tesla vehicles will be mounted with these batteries has already begun for those models. After receiving a question from a journalist, BYD declined to comment on the issue in response. These rumors sparked a great deal of discussion. However, because BYD had a separate battery business called Foodie, the company could indeed sell batteries to other electric vehicle manufacturers. BYD, on the other hand, is still a company that manufactures automobiles, with Tesla serving as its primary competitor. There was also a nagging doubt as to whether Tesla would buy LFP, lithium iron phosphate cells, from a direct competitor if it already bought them from Contemporary Amperex Technology Co. Limited CATL, one of the world's major cell manufacturers. In spite of the fact that there were many reasons to doubt the veracity of these rumors, there was one thing that could give credibility to them. We already know that Tesla aims to manufacture a new, more inexpensive electric vehicle type in China. This model's test production could begin soon, according to whispers in the streets. Due to the fact that this model will be considerably less expensive than others, there will be a high demand for it. And it's because of this, Tesla will require a large number of battery cells, and existing suppliers may be unable to meet these requirements. Consequently, it was considered a possibility, if not essential, that Tesla entered into a collaboration with BYD in order to forward its own objectives. BYD Denying the Rumors The Chinese company BYD, however, finally has disproved the speculations of its selling blade batteries to Tesla. The business stated that it never informed the media that it would be doing so. It was previously reported that the cells were undergoing testing and that the deliveries may begin as early as the second quarter of 2022, but it appears that this is no longer the case. In particular, this is not the case for the Made in China Model Y. Tesla primarily uses lithium iron phosphate batteries provided by CATL in conjunction with LG Chem's LG Energy Solutions NCM811 and eventually NCMA cells in China. In the beginning, Panasonic was also responsible for supplying the cells. Tesla's extensive range of battery cell suppliers indicates that the company is extremely practical, and a new supply agreement with BYD in the near future appears to be out of the question for the time being. BYD's electric cars were not a major concern for Tesla CEO Elon Musk a decade ago when the company was considering expanding into the United States. but 
the company has hugely enhanced its product portfolio and is now one of the world's largest manufacturers of plug-in electric vehicles. Tesla and CATL Extend Battery Deal Contemporary Amperex Technology Co., the world's largest maker of lithium-ion batteries, is based in China, which is the world's largest EV battery manufacturer. Tesla, BMW, and Geely are just a few of the electric vehicle manufacturers that have relied on the company. EV battery manufacturer CATL announced that it will begin shipping lithium-ion batteries to American electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla from January 2022 and will continue to do so until December 2025. The new arrangement should serve as an extension of the agreement struck between the two businesses in February 2020, under which CATL promised to deliver lithium-ion batteries to Tesla from July 2020 to June 2022. The battery manufacturer also stated that the arrangement is likely to have a favorable influence on the company's financial performance. As a result of the rapid growth of the EV industry in China, shares of battery and new energy vehicle manufacturers have continued to soar, with CATL stock reaching 525.73 yuan on the last day of September 2021. Within one year, the share price of CATL increased by 130%, bringing the company's entire market value to 1.17 trillion yuan. Concluding Remarks Who knows? Maybe the two of them, Tesla and BYD, may collaborate on some electric vehicle initiatives in the future. Many things are predicted on Tesla's success with their proprietary battery cell form Cylindrical 4680 and on the usefulness of the off-the-shelf options. BYD founded Foodie specifically to segregate it from the rest of the company and allow it to sell batteries to other manufacturers. If Tesla is willing to purchase LFP cells from BYD, it's likely that BYD will manufacture and sell the cells to Tesla as well. Based on Tesla's production of more than 30,000 units per month for China and exports to other countries, including Europe, we may estimate that the company's battery requirements in China alone already surpass 20 gigawatt hours per year. Any considerable growth in demand in the future, and notably the introduction of a new higher volume model, will need the construction of a new battery gigafactory on a large scale. Because the investment will take a year or two, we believe that Tesla is already in the process of determining which option to follow next. But I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. How likely do you believe Tesla is to collaborate with BYD if they dramatically boost their production and unveil the new, more inexpensive version of their vehicle? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment down below. HCR commented on our video about Lucid's expansion into China, stating that it will be a positive step for the company in the long run. In addition, they will be competing against companies like Tesla, NIO, and Xpeng, three of China's largest manufacturers of electric vehicles. An enormous amount of competitiveness exists in the electric vehicle sector, which is not exclusive to the EV manufacturing industry. Firms battling for state-of-the-art charging networks, battery companies competing for top-of-the-line EV batteries, and it's all beneficial for the public as technology progresses. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.